Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Behind the Music and in this episode I'm going to show you how I worked on Via Perifico from Final Fantasy X. Uh, if you haven't already listened to the cover, um, I suggest checking out the video here or in the description box below. But without further ado, we're gonna get started. Woo! So once again, just like the Bluefields cover before it, this cover is also based on the piano arrangements version of Via Perifico, which actually replaced the original Via Perifico for the HD remaster for Final Fantasy X. So it goes a little something like this. So I take that... Uh and I make a little bit of an introduction with it. Oh, with the harp, my bad. And then I have a piano doing a little bit of something of its own as well. And then I also have the violin uh, mimicking that piano. Piano is coming with the rest of the arpeggio. And then I take everything further and add um, some more strings and uh, bass instruments and uh, just bring all together more percussion um, and extend that intro. So with the violins, I add in my own melody, which goes uh, like this. And that melody continues into a high octave um, and that's what basically makes the intro. I just take that beginning arpeggiated melody and continue and you know make something big and orchestral. So over to the bridge uh, where it goes. Um, I decided to play around with the tempo. Uh, usually I would just keep the tempo flat the same. Um, so right now we're working on a BPM of 152. Um, towards the end of the bridge, I slow it down. And then I bring it up to a higher tempo of 182. I do think that having the tempo change like that sort of like makes the piece feel a bit more alive um, than keeping it a static tempo. So with the chorus, everything pretty much goes the same. Um, we've got the arpeggiated melody from the original, which I'm probably going to botch right now. Something like that. Um, but yeah, so pretty much... Everything goes as normal with the arpeggiated uh, melody with the strings and the spiccato and staccato strings. So with the main melody that goes on to this part, I have a violin section that sort of does a basic version of the arpeggiated melody, which goes a little something like this. Which I quite like, actually. I like that melody. Um, so bridge number two is the second half of that sort of chorus. 
I take the percussion away and go for a sort of lighter, more plucky sound for the first half of the bridge. Before moving on to the bombastic orchestra again. And then I do the same technique where I slow things down and then bring it back up to a faster speed. So everything was 182, it goes back down to 142 and then back up to 192. So this is, I call this section chorus fast. Um, it's a long section. Um, but there isn't too much to it. So first you'll note that I've added um, some orchestra, not orchestra, some orchestral drums and um, a bass guitar. So the bass guitar is going like this. Then it changes key. Up three semitones, another key. But you get the idea. It uh, changes key throughout. So then bridge two happens again, but it doesn't slow down. It stays the same speed. Uh, and then it will move on to part two of the track. So this section was quite difficult because there's like multiple different key changes going on in here and I had to just like account for harmonization for like different parts. It was quite difficult, um, but I did quite like that. So towards the end of the this part two bit, the piano does something interesting. So that melody, I actually extend that to create an original section. And then I finish it off with a very slow uh, rendition of the main chorus of Via Perifico. And so that's basically what I did for Via Perifico. There wasn't too much to talk about because it's mostly a uh, direct cover of Via Perifico with a few added bits and extended bits and taking some ideas and going a mile with it uh, with an original section. Um, but yeah, that's what I've done. Uh, if you liked what you watched, uh, please give the video a like, possibly subscribe if you're not all subscribed already. And I will be doing more of these for more of my covers in the future. Uh, but in the meantime, Thank you for watching, take care, stay safe, and stay awesome.